Hey guys, you're watching Recoil TV Full Auto Friday. I'm here with my friend Ben, and we're gonna talk about some set me's. Now, when I say set me to you, what's the first thing that comes to mind? I think of a 760 by 51 rifle that HK stole. <laughs> exactly. So when you look and at the roller lock, yeah, yeah. When you look at the original set me, uh, made in Spain, the Model 58, mm -hmm. uh, I think of really clunky. And, and way back in the day, I thought, oh, these are H and K clones. Whereas yeah. it turns out that H and K was just like a super high quality yeah. Model 58. Now the, we have the Model L and then the Model LC, which is the paratrooper model. Now these are in 5.56, so everything is kind of scaled down. And it also takes us to nag NATO magazines. And these days, if you're making a 5.56 that doesn't take you're, you're an AR mag, yeah, you're dumb. But this was designed in the late 70s, fielded uh, early mid 80s, and actually used by the Spanish military until 1999 when it was replaced by the G36E, which is actually a worse G36 <laughs> than you normally think of. Mm. Now the LC here that you see is a paratrooper model uh, slightly higher rate of fire, like 650 to 850. This guy is 600 to 800 rounds per minute. But even though they scaled down the caliber, the controls are, these are all super set up for a right-handed shooter. Yeah. There's some really wonky manual of arms here. Like, so to lock the bolt back, it does not lock back on empty. You have to pull the charging handle back, press this button in front of the rear sight. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. And, there you go. And it there works. you go. There's just something about guns designed in this time period that I love because this could just be like straight out of Mad Max. Yep. Like Furiosa could be like rocking probably that one because she only yeah. had one hand. But yeah. there's something I really enjoy about it. But as far as like significance, it was not a significant weapon. Uh, even in Spain, it wasn't a very significant weapon. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of cool. So uh, a few years ago, a lot of parts kits came in, which of course these ones were built off of, and of course these go full auto. So and they're OD green. Yeah, now, the, the, all these were made after Franco's uh, rule in Spain. But yeah. I still like to imagine that we're shooting fascists. I hate fascists. That's right. Any gun that kills fascists, we love. And so, well, we're. It's an anachronism. We couldn't go to a Ren Fair with these, sure. but we can still play pretend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, the rear sight, there is no elevation adjustment. Both apertures are stupid small and tiny, and everything's done with the front sight. But why don't we just shoot these side by side? I think that would be awesome. And then we'll just trade, and we'll see which one we we'll like more. We'll see if this stock uh, tears my, my cheek up. Does well, that sound fun? I'll, I'll tell you what, collapsible stocks and beards, not always the best combination. Well, I'm not too long. It's a good thing scruffy. you got that baby face. I'm just scruffy. So, well, let's go check it let's out. Let's do it. All right. All right. So we have the Set Me LC because we had a unforeseen error with the Set Me L, namely a broken shell in the chamber that we didn't realize was there, and then broke our broken shell extractor. <laughs> so, instead of doing a comparison, we're just gonna have the little guy. And frankly. Smaller guns are more fun anyway. Always. Don't believe the lies that the ladies tell you, all right? All right, Ben, so let's go. All the way all down, the baby. Way. All We're right. on the lightning. Oh yeah. That rate of fire is fantastic. That's amazing. So the LC goes from 650 to 850. And I think that we uh, were a little bit out of spec there, a little higher than 850. So I already know how you feel, but uh, just tell you, me about yeah, it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this was <laughs> this was a blast. <laughs> I that's that cyclic rate was unbelievably fun. Yeah. Unbelievably I mean, fun. practical? No. Yeah. Eh, well, yeah, maybe just 
But close. Close shooting. I mean, I didn't shoot it, and I'm grinning like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the noise was wonderful, too. So yeah. join us next time yeah. when I make Ben shoot a bolt action or some garbage. Ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs>